up to now i'm so shocked not hurt shocked and surprised because the way the game flowed how the goals were coming and how badly that we played i'm sorry if you're a real madrid fan watching this i'm also a real madrid fan and i've never made this type of comment about real madrid even if we lose a match <laughs> What's up guys, what's up, this is Boy SMJ and I'm back with another episode for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed your weekend and I'm talking about the sports presence because this is a sports video that I'm giving you guys and if you are not a sports person you wouldn't understand what I'm talking about because of the games which took place last Saturday and also last Sunday over the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the game and without wasting much, let's go straight to what happened um, over the weekend. On Saturday, we witnessed a very great game, amazing game, intense game between Manchester United and Manchester City. And that game was so intense. It was like the game between Man uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona and Real Betis. That game was intense. And no one expected the outcome to be 2-2. Just like no one expected the outcome to be 2-1 in favor of Manchester United. And guys, I've never seen Manchester United play this good against Manchester City. Every time that Manchester United meets Manchester City, everyone's the, 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 the outcome on everyone's mind is Manchester City is going to trash Manchester United. Not that they are going to win them, just going to win them. They are going to trash them. And when Billy scored the first goal, I was like, oh, it's over. Because Manchester City is going to trash Manchester United. Only to find out that Manchester United has something up their sleeves. That already had that guy is something i didn't know that he had something up his sleeves and this should be a warning to barcelona yesterday during the air classico when um they were scoring us um better when the, the the goals were flowing uh, barcelona fans were this this is what they told my um, the united fans at the sports center they were like this should be a warning to you guys and also manchester united fans when they trust it they were telling Barcelona fans, not they were actually uh, uh, warning them, giving them one, a warning that they should be ready for them. This should be a warning to them. So I'm waiting for the Europa between uh, Manchester United and also Barcelona. But in the game, um, the Manchester derby, I've never seen Manchester United play so well against Manchester City. So a big kudos to Manchester United fans watching this video. If you are a Manchester United fan watching this video, please give me a like. Let me know you. Let me notice you in the comments. And please subscribe. Share it with in your group. And um, with that being said, let's go to our last news for today, which is the El Clasico. Up to now, I'm so shocked, not hurt, shocked and surprised because the way the game flowed, how the goals were coming, and how badly that we played. I'm sorry if you're a Real Madrid fan watching this video. I'm also a Real Madrid fan. And I've never made this type of comment about Real Madrid. Even if we lose a match, I've never said we played trash. Uh, we, we, we played badly. But for this Classico, I have to say this. We played very badly. And I'm going to give you the players who um, I had problems with. One Kamavinga. Kamavinga was giving Tony Cruz a very hard time. If you watch the game, every part of the game from the first half to the second half, you will see that Kamavinga was giving 40 passes to um, Tony Cruz, and also he was not helping that. And if I was to be on Zlati, who I'm not, I would have sapped Kamavinga out of the game in the first half and would have brought on a different player. Because he was not helping. And also, Kamala, Kamala was also not helping. Guys, he was not helping. For the first time, Kamala was not helping. And I didn't know Odrizela was on the bench. When I said they should sub in Odrizela, some people were like, why Odrizela? Because Kamala, I, I, Kamala is fast and strong. Don't you know Odrizela is also strong? He is also very quick and fast. That guy is very quick and fast. He should have been set up. And my number one player whom I I, 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 I never thought that I would have a problem with him is Vinicius Jr. That guy, he, he the, the confidence that, that Ancelotti has given him has made him overconfident. 
and he is being he has started acting like very bossy yeah i don't know if i've noticed that he has started to act very bossy and his style of game has changed a little bit because he has no challenge on the bench no one is challenging him on his side of the game so he thought that even if i play trash even if i play badly i'm still going to be in the starting lineup and i think that is going to stop if we get a challenge for him so yesterday he was also playing badly for me so kamavinga vinicius jr and kavaja they were playing badly yesterday i didn't like their game but anyway it is real madrid we are the kings of europe we are the kings of champions league we are the kings of la liga and barcelona is going to get it in the league they think that they are on top of the league they think that they are on top of the league but they don't know what we are capable of we are going to turn the tables on them and we are not just going to turn the tables on them we are going to beat them with the table that we turn on them so guys if you are a Real Madrid fan watching this, let me know you in the comment section and give me a like, subscribe to the channel and share it in all the Real Madrid groups and uh, all of the Real Madrid groups that you are part of and let them know that we are still in Japan, we are still going to support Real Madrid although Barcelona trust us 3-1 just like we trust them in the previous El Clasico but this time they trust us to win and it's just a super Did I just say super It's just a super cup. So I'm so surprised and shocked by not head. So I'm going to end this video here, guys. But like before I go, I'm still reminding you guys about my birthday. It is happening on the 19th of January. And no, I'm not throwing the birthday party, but I'm waiting for my gifts and uh, from the previous video if you haven't seen it go to the previous video and watch it um, um, i'm waiting for my gifts and if you don't have those type of gifts or if you cannot give me those type of gifts because of this time um, you can subscribe to place it give me a like on the video and i'm going to see you in the next episode